there's lots of things about Dundonald Castle that we don't know. This was once the third most important castle in the country and we've got lots of questions. We want to put that jigsaw together again and by having a geophysical survey here, that's one of the perfect ways that we're able to use experts to do that. So doing a geophysical survey using a couple of different techniques with the aim of mapping any buried remains associated with the castle or potential earlier features just to help highlight um, and just get a better idea of what's uh, surviving beneath the ground and how that may aid interpretation. The hilltop here would have been very intensively occupied right from the prehistoric period right up to the late, late medieval period. All the volunteers, all our staff, everyone involved at Friends of Dundonald Castle is really excited to find out the results of this survey. Here we are now, back at Longmore House in Edinburgh, at our headquarters, and we've got the report in. First of all, the resistivity survey picked up a number of anomalies around the castle's inner courtyard, the Balmkin area. We have been wondering whether we could find traces of the second medieval castle on the site, which was a big 13th century castle, and we seem to have picked up parts of the structures that form parts of that castle. The ground penetrating radar survey gives us um, depth slices through the ground at 25 centimetre intervals so we can tell whether something is just below the surface or whether it's more likely to be a metre or more down below the ground surface. So um, again we covered the similar area outside the Balmkin wall and we have a, a plot showing several anomalies which could be solid features below the ground such as surfaces and walls. Those are interesting as well and they match up with the resistivity survey results to a large extent. We have a, a number of questions still unanswered about Dundonald Castle. We don't know everything about it by any means. One of the, the things that we'd like to find out more about is the form of um, the medieval castles on the site, just how large they were, whether they had um, very high walls, whether they had corner towers, that sort of thing. We know quite a lot about the latest occupation on the summit, which is basically a late 14th century and 15th century castle. We're really excited to do some excavation work to follow up the uh, recent geophysics survey, and uh, we're hoping to learn much more about the kinds of people and the kinds of activities that were carried out here over the past few centuries and over the past thousands of years at Dundonald Castle. So what we really, really want to do is use this as an opportunity to engage our community wider and to get them involved in everything. The castle was once the heart of this village and this community and we want it to be that again.